I suppose it was too much to hope that he wouldn't have come here. Though I can't understand why you side with Meredith now. You showed me we can stand up to her. When I realized you had risked your life lying to protect those mages. Please, champion. I have nothing but respect for you. It's Meredith we must see gone. Your cause is just, but I take issue with your methods. I should have known you recognize the threat Meredith poses. I am sorry for any distress we caused you or your friends. Let the hostage go. No. The girl dies. Then the champion. Stand what? down, Grace. Grace, we saved you. What are you doing? We will not kill an innocent to achieve our ends. It gains us nothing to become Meredith. Meredith. What do I care for Meredith? I'm here for the champion. I saved your life! At least I attempted it. Well, no, I still saved your life because I could have killed you. Or I could have the Templar just kill you right on the spot. No, screw it. No, I don't say that. Whatever you want, just tell me. Decimus was right. There is no way for a mage to live by the Chantry's laws. You killed the best man I ever met, but I learned all he had to teach. Elaine, kill the hostage! I... I don't know, Grace. Try to do a blood mage a favor. This isn't right, Grace. The champion tried to help us. Don't defy me, boy. Without me, you'd be nothing. If you're too squeamish, I'll do it myself. No. No one has to die here. <laughs> oh, but that's where you're wrong. Restrain yourself. Oh, well, shit. Forget the hostage. Kill the champion! Oh, I'm not even gonna kill you last. I'm just gonna kill you now. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm gonna kill your pride bomb and you'll see I'm at it. Why are you fighting against me? You clearly just saw it. She's crazy. She was the evil one. The other. Oh, never mind. No point in trying to speak any sense to these people. They're all broken. I knew she was still alive, but I didn't know Thrask was working with her. When I saw her today, it brought everything back. Everything I saw Decimus do. I... I'm sorry. Grace used blood magic to hold her. That's the only way I can bring her out. What happened? The last thing I remember is these Templars coming into my quarters. I promise. I'll never let anything like this happen again. Thank you. It's good to know you're still looking out for me. They're meeting in here, Sir Callan. Oh, I guess you didn't get on so well with these mages as you thought. Champion, Samson never said you were involved in this. I trust you were here to stop these traitors, not join them. The Champion's a good man, sir. He tried to solve things peacefully. Yeah. Put the mage to questioning. The boy stood up to his elders when they would have killed an innocent hostage. Hm. 
You mean he was one of them, save for a convenient last-minute change of heart? I'll encourage Meredith to take it easy on him. Thank you, champion. At least you did that much. Everyone else here is under arrest. Take them to the gallows. Is there any recommendation you would have me bring to Meredith, champion? If you killed every man who doubted Meredith's fitness, Kirkwall would be a ghost town. You think that reason enough to spare blood mages and their willing dupes? <sighs> Perhaps some of them might still be saved. I almost feel like he has split personality. Because he'll say something completely harsh, and then completely, like, the next sentence over, say something compassionate. Like, oh, we should just kill them all. Well, not, not those exact words, but like, oh, we shouldn't take pity on them. You know, screw them. And then turn around and be like, maybe we should take pity on them. Make up your mind, one or the other. And now I finally got... Ooh, hands of glory. Helm of the Champion. I am now complete. The champion armors for all the classes look really badass. Hmm. So where the hell do I get the ambrosia? That is the million dollar question. I really wish I remembered exactly where it's at. But I do have the complete set of uh, champion armor, so that's cool. Does the champion armor helmet have a uh, rune space for it? Yes, it does. It has one. just to put something in there. Don't have any other rooms to put in there. You like the shiny? I'll go ahead and put that in the sword. Lady Mercy's nice, but he doesn't want well it. You like the shiny? Thank you, Sandal. To the gallows.
shop. I'm you guys would have something. Guess not. Mercy, your song. Tiger's Tail. Nope. Not bad. Or just stab people. Grace is dead. The Knight Commander agreed to show mercy to those found conspiring with Sir Thrask. But surely you can see the Knight Commander directly now, should you wish. What would you have of me? What is the Knight Commander doing about the conspirators? The Mages have been confined to their quarters and sedated. The Templars have been suspended without pay. That is as lenient as we dare be. That's fair. If it comes to war with the mages, whose side do you think the Grand Cleric will take? She is bound by faith and duty to support the Templars. We have dominance over mages by divine right. But it is cruel how she leads them on, letting them think they might have a chance at rebellion. I just wanted to see how an old friend is doing in this difficult time. After what happened in Ferelden, I told myself I would never again question the purpose of the Order. But it grows harder each day to tell whether I'm serving the Templars or only the Knight Commander. It may be that they are no longer one and the same. Yep, we've had that conversation. I'm surprised she actually did show kind of any lenience or mercy. Your mage Templar group was conspiring to overthrow Meredith. I have a sudden deep regret I interfered. <sighs> you know, I was half convinced Meredith had engineered the whole thing to trick me into incriminating myself. Thrask admitted to leading the group. Perhaps I've exaggerated the depths of her madness. But if she's not there yet, she will be soon. Oh, she's there. The only question is, once it's clear she cannot lead, Will there be anyone left to oppose her? Please accept this as my thanks. It will be of more value to you right now than my friendship. So now what? Alright, so go to my house. We're coming to the dramatic conclusion of Dragon Age 2. As things are finally coming to a head. How will it turn out? Let's support the mages or the Templars? If that's really a question, you haven't been watching. <laughs> I'm sorry for that sound of kind of condescending. But, in this case, only because it means going against Meredith. And because of the fact that they are kind of wrong in the way they do things. Supporting the mages. Kinda sad that I didn't find the ambrosia. Again, I failed it. Doing a completionist complete, complete run. Blame it on this recorder's curse. It's a real thing. I'm telling you. Is 
is there an achievement for getting all those things? And I have the achievement. Look it up. I'm not lying. Please believe me. Please believe me. I am kind of sad that they introduced Bethany as a playable character, and you can kind of see her faded back there the entire time. But you rarely get to use her, if even at all. I mean, you do get to use her, but... Just the term, using. Yeah, don't mind me. Champion, thank the Maker you've come. What's happened? First Enchanter Orsino got into a terrible argument with the Knight Commander. He stormed off to bring the matter before the Grand Cleric, but the Knight Commander gave chase. I fear there will be blood. Then take me to them before that happens. Breathing intensifies. Shit's about to get real. I will have the tower searched, top to bottom. You cannot do that. You have no right. I have every right. You are harboring blood mages, and I intend to root them out before they infect this city. Blood magic? Where do you not see blood magic? My people cannot sneeze without you accusing them of corruption. Do not trifle with me, mage. My patience is at an end. A wonder that I never saw it begin. The way you two carry on, people will talk. You came. This does not involve you, champion. I called him here. I think the people deserve to know just what you've done. What I have done is protect the people of this city time and again. What I have done is protect you mages from your curse and your own stupidity. And I will not stop doing it. I will not lower our guard. I dare not! Is there any truth to what she's saying? These are only her latest accusations, nothing more. And what if she does not find what she's looking for? How much further will she go to root out something that isn't there? The Champion knows better than anyone how deep the Circle's corruption goes. I must find the source. There must be some way we can work this out. What other option do we have? Tell me, Champion, that you have not seen with your own eyes what they can do. Heard the lies of mages that seek power. <laughs> they are not all the same. Not all mages. You can't use the actions of some to condemn them all. You would cast us all as villains, but it is not so. I know, and it breaks my heart to do it, but we must be vigilant. If you cannot tell me another way, do not brand me a tyrant. This is getting us nowhere. Grand Cleric Athena will put a stop to this. You will not bring her grace into this. The Grand Cleric cannot help you. Explain yourself, mage. I will not stand by and watch you treat all mages like criminal, while those who would lead us bow to their Templar jailers. How dare you speak to me? The Circle has failed us, Orsino. Even you should be able to see that. The time has come to act. There can be no half measures. Anders, what have you done? There can be no turning back.
Oh my god, this scene still gives me goosebumps even to this day. I never saw this coming. First time I played, completely caught off guard. May God have mercy. There can be no peace. Elfina, no! Make her no! She was your most faithful, your most beloved. Why didn't she listen to me? Blessed be the souls of the faithful that they ascend to your right hand. Why? Why would you do such a thing? I removed the chance of compromise, because there is no compromise. The Grand Cleric has been slain by magic. The Chantry destroyed. As Knight Commander of Kirkwall, I hereby invoke the right of annulment. Every mage in the circle is to be executed. Immediately! The circle didn't even do this! Champion, you can't let her help us stop this madness! And I demand you stand with us. Even you must see that this outrage cannot be tolerated. Why are we debating the right of annulment when the monster who did this is right here? I swear to you, I will kill him. It can't be stopped now. You have to choose. All right, before I do shit, fuck you, Anders. The entire time you see this. Sure, I kind of sided a little bit more with the mages, but that's because the fact that Meredith is a little kind of batshit crazy. But for the most part, I've been standing neutrals. Again, they're both wrong in their own little sense. I've been trying to fight for peace. And there is no peace. Peace can't be attained. Of course peace can't be fucking attained because you just blew up the goddamn Chantry. I don't want... Ugh. I want to know anybody. Anybody in the comments below. Go ahead and feel the need to try and tell me how that was the right thing to do in any way, shape, or form. Blowing up a chantry filled with innocent people. The Templars weren't in there. The people that were persecuting them weren't in there. Sure, people can go ahead and say, Oh, well, you know, the chantry is the one that said this, and they came up with the circle. But Althina is the one who tried to step in between and try and have peace. And I was so close to actually having some kind of peace and just... Sure, there was arguing and all that stuff. And at this point, I'm rambling on out of anger because Anders is so stupid. And now this happens, and now you have to choose. Well, thanks for that, Anders. Thanks for being a fucking asshole. Thanks for screwing everything up. You're gonna get murder knifed. And you deserve to be murder knifed every single time. I could have stopped you no this had to happen the circle is an injustice in many places beyond kirkwall the world needs to see elthina is not the circle she was a good woman and you murdered her you fool you've doomed us all we were already doomed a quick death now or a slow one later i'd rather die fighting and that's what's hilarious. Oh, you know, we need to show the world that mages aren't bad by blowing up a chantry. Where's the logic in that? It's complete... No, screw it, I'm gonna say it. Usually I don't like to insult people, but stupidity. It is stupidity at its finest. Let's go ahead and promote peace and understanding and show the world that not all mages are evil. and Mages need to be treated better by committing an act of terrorism. And even, even Orsino, like, the head and sh first enchanter of the Circle of Magi is like, what have you done, you idiot? It's funny when all these people are against you. That's when you can kind of tell you're wrong. It's when both sides said you fucked up. Let's continue. You're a murderer. The Grand Cleric, the mages, their blood is on your hands. I know. It doesn't matter. Even if I wished to, I could not stay my hand. The people will demand blood. 
Evet. I really want to say I'm not taking sides, but the problem is, because of Anders' screw up, Meredith is going to try and kill all the mages, and I can't let her kill all the mages because they're not the ones responsible. Anders is! So my choice will be supporting the mages. I won't let her slaughter all of you. But what of Anders? I knew I could count on you. Hawk, if you do this, I don't know if I can follow. And so you would defend these mages after all they have done? Throw yourself at a hopeless cause? You sure about this? Even you might not win this fight. I know we can do this. I believe in you, Hawk. Think carefully, champion. Stand with them and you share their fate. I'm not helping you, Meredith. Thank the Maker. No, I won't fight to save these mages. Not for you, not for anyone. I see what you are trying to do, and my place is with you. You are a fool, champion. Kill them all! I will rouse the rest of the Order! Go! Get to the gallows before it's too late! Damn it, 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 damn it! I will tell you though, great storytelling to get to this point and what went down, minus Anders motives, but Anders being an idiot is not a issue of writing, it's an issue of Anders being just a dumb character. So it's come to this. I don't know if we can win this war, champion, but thank you. I will leave your friend for you to deal with. I must return to the gallows. Meet me there as soon as you can. There's nothing you can say that I haven't already said to myself. I took a spirit into my soul and changed myself forever to achieve this. This is the justice all mages have awaited. See, not even a sign of remorse, at least not yet. I know there is a way, because I know people are going to comment on this, to get him to feel otherwise but even in the end he says oh you're not for the mages you're not for the mages i'm still standing up for the mages despite what he's done that was not the way to do it did that spirit tell you to do this no when we merged he ceased to be we are one now I can no more ignore the injustice of the circle than he could. And see, for all those people who are like, oh, he was enslaved by justice. No, he just admitted himself that he did it. He did it. He was not the influence of justice because they are one or whatever. This is what he wanted to do. This is what he enacted. This was all Anders. So you start a massacre to prove a point. I'm not proving a point. I'm changing a world. The people fear what we can do. But to use that fear to bludgeon us into submission is wrong. And they do it with our blessing. And if I pay for that with my life, then I pay. Perhaps then justice would at least be free. Opinions. If I'd been in that chantry today, would you be waffling? You know what must be done. Belief is no excuse. Sincerity does not justify this. He should come with us. Do what he can to put things right. I think I'm sick of mages and Templars. Me too, Varric. Whatever you do, just do it. No, he's getting murder knifed. Because, come with me. No, there's nothing he can do to make up for all the lives he's basically going to be responsible for. All the people he's killed in the Chantry the Templar and Mage lives that are going to be lost in this stupid fight that never should have happened. He needs to pay for his crimes. And the only option I have to make him pay for his crimes is to murder knife his ass. So that's going to be the one I'm going to take. Because he's not coming with me, because there's no redemption for him. 
there's no get out of here because then I'm laying off completely scot-free, which is completely dumb. No, then you die. You have to pay for what you've done. I know. The sooner I die, the sooner my name lives on to inspire generations. That's unfortunate too, because now I'm also making a martyr. Shit. It will never be enough, but it's a start. We'd all best get to the gallows, and quick. It's going to be quite a show. That's either uh, male or female, humans, dwarves, kunari, elves, and then from there you can go ahead and choose from that, whether you want to be a male